Today we are attempting to upcycle this old silk suit, which looks like it's from the 90s. It's by Ellen Tracy, and I've had it just sitting in a bag for months, but I'm finally going to be upcycling it because I didn't know what to do with it until I saw Olivia Culpo wearing this new Zara green suit. There it is. And I thought that it was really fun, and I was like, now I know what to do with my green one, because I have one that looks almost exactly like it. Perfect. So this is going to be pretty easy. I'm not going to touch the coat. I'm just going to replace the buttons. And then for the skirt, we are just taking in the sides a little bit and shortening it and then attempting to put a notch slit in it. So let's see how it goes. I love to alter pieces like this because the zipper is in the back. So we're going to take out fabric from the sides equally. It's going to be pretty easy. What we have to do though is first open up the side seam. So I am just going to pop this open. I'm going to leave the waistband intact because the waist actually fits pretty well. This is common for me. The hips are usually what's big just because my hips are pretty narrow. Carefully because it is silk and silk is a little fragile. Okay, now it is time to chop the bottom. The sides are taken in. I've given myself room for the hem, so this is really just an estimate. That looks better. Four and a quarter. Now this is hemmed, so I'm going to iron this and then I'm going to complete this with a blind hem so then there's going to be no seam line when I'm done. Okay, change of plans. We are not going to do the notch in the front, not because I couldn't do it in the front, but because of the hassle it would be to basically do it twice with this thin little lining. So that wouldn't be fun. First, I ironed this hem. Okay, so that's going to give me a guide to know, okay, what part am I sewing? And then I'm just starting here. So I'm going to put a little anchor stitch right here. So I already knotted the thread. It's going to be my anchor. Okay, so I'm putting that right here. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm just doing really tiny little stitches. Okay, I'll show you, I'll do a few, then I'll show you. I'm only grabbing a little tiny piece of thread from the outside of the skirt, and then I'm sewing through the edge of the hem. So, let me do a few. You can see there's a few stitches right here, but on this side, it's not really going to look like there's any. So that's how we hide that and make it look seamless. This coat has buttons in the front, has buttons on the arms, and buttons in the back. But the buttons that I have are thrifted, so I get these from antique stores or from thrift stores, and I don't have matching ones for this, but these are the ones that I want to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to replace the front two buttons that I'll show you that are primarily gonna be seen. And you can see that these are a little bit too small. They're gonna be too small for this buttonhole. So what I'm gonna do is just add a little stitch to that buttonhole so then it's gonna fit nice and tightly. So if I do wanna close it, I can, and it'll stay shut. This is not the shirt that I plan to wear with this, but it's the only one I have right now. I don't plan on buttoning at all, but here is my dupe. I'm gonna iron this down actually. I want the lapel to lay flat, and then these are going to be scrunched. So here's going to be my dupe of the Zara suit that Olivia wore. Hey! I love it! I found this vintage 80s or 90s dress, and I thought it had a lot of potential, so I figured out what I'm going to do with it. I already took in the back, so there's seams down here, and I just took those in. This is this is unfinished. I'm not done closing all this up. 
This is still a little bit big, but I'm actually keeping it that way because I'm going to put a strapless bra on with this when I wear it. I'm also going to throw on some shapewear, add in some extra curves. Then I'm going to take these seam lines and I'm going to slit the dress from the seam lines and I'm going to open the whole thing up down the back. Then I'm going to bring it in and I'm doing this because it's just a little bit difficult to create that really perfect straight line. So I'm going to throw this on a mannequin, measure it and then like create that line and then just we're just going to have a seam all the way down to the back and I don't think that's going to be super noticeable and what that is going to do is bring this in. So I'm going to keep the slit but I'm just going to narrow this shape a little bit more to create more of a shape for my waist. Then. I'm gonna pull this from here to the side. But if you do this, the problem is that you're gonna get some gapping right here. That's not cute. So all I have to do, because this is actually, this is not its own piece. This is actually part of this bodice. So what I'm gonna do is just take it, fold it over a little bit and hand stitch that down. And you won't even be able to notice that because I'll stitch it really tight. Then I'm gonna cut I'm gonna be cutting this part and laying these two together flat, sewing them down. And then I'm just gonna get a different piece of black fabric and then use that as the back strap. But I'm just gonna connect that right here. I mean, I mean, I might connect it across, but I'm gonna try it, pin it, see what's most comfortable. But I think that just by changing this angle of the neckline is gonna modernize it, bringing in the shape. Then I may be adding some more embellishments right here. I feel like there's some nice spaces in between these little leaves and I can add in some black sequins or beading just so that this is going to catch light a little bit more. I think that these silver beads, they're just a little bit dull. They're not a really shiny stone as you can see. Like it looks cool, it looks metallic and I love this shape here. Um, but just want it to shine a little bit more. It is a beautiful Sunday, it's sunny, and I finished altering this piece, but as I mentioned, I wanted a little bit more shine because it's an older piece. These are not gonna shine as bright as I wanted them to, but I didn't want anything too distracting. So I went out and I got these sequins. You can get these at Michael's. I've never seen them in three size packs before. It was only $1.99 for the three sizes. So I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna work them into this leaf pattern. And the reason I like this is because it's gonna be subtle. It's gonna add shine to the dress, but it's not gonna be anything overwhelming or really distracting or look like it wasn't a part of the original piece. And I like to keep the integrity of the original piece. That's something I'm a fan of. Then I bought another dress that I showed you guys in one of my, I think I showed you in one of my recent vlogs when I went thrifting. It's a piece that I want to wear to my friend's wedding. Well, there's a really small neck piece and I want to stone that a little bit more, add a little bit more detail. So my idea, hopefully this works out, I'm gonna use these small beads. What I'm gonna do is create a lattice pattern. Like, you know, like the lattices in people's gardens, that's the pattern. Then in the middle of each section where they're crossing, I am gonna place one of these little guys. This is another one of those three size packs. Then, on the center of that, I'm gonna layer this because this is a little string of beads and it's a blue tone, it's a very soft blue tone, just like the dress. And I really like that because if you look at a lot of couture pieces, they stack a lot of stones on top of one another and it gives that really luxe look. So I think it's gonna be a really nice detail for the dress just to make it a little bit more unique and elevated because the dress code for the wedding is formal. These ones I got from Joann's and that's where I was originally looking for everything. I thought I, it would be a one-stop shop and it wasn't. So I just got these there. Then after I had to go to Michael's for the other sequins. Tonight is Halloween and I was supposed to go to a family party thing and I decided not to go because I had been caught up with work and then, and then I told myself, who's gonna book anything on a Sunday? Who's gonna do that? My clients, that's who. So they, I don't work on the weekends by the way because I need some sort of rest, which I don't get that much of, but I ended up getting a bunch of bookings for speeches and paperwork edits. So I had to take care of that tonight because my week this week is booked with coaching appointments. 
So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And the only way I can make sure that all those coaching appointments get done is if I make sure that all the paperwork and speeches are done tonight. So I could not go, I caught up with that. And unfortunately that meant skipping the family party because I didn't know how long the speeches were gonna take me. So those got finished up. And I also have a pile of clothes that I have been meaning to either upcycle or repair and i talk about this all the time but repairs can really increase the life cycle of a garment it's amazing how many pieces that i buy at thrift stores for example that are pieces that just needed a quick alteration and i have a sweater that needs one and i'm searching right i have this fuzzy little sweater the arm ripped. That's what I'm doing on Halloween this year. What are you guys doing? Do you go trick-or-treating? Do you go out? What are your plans? I used to go out every Halloween. I would go out with my friends and I would get dressed up. I rarely bought a costume. It always ended up being something that I ended up making. Yeah, this year, no Halloween for me, none. I'm just here handing out candy. I'm also watching Below Deck. Today is a busy day. We have less than an hour before I have my first client and it is a back-to-back -back appointment. Oh my goodness. I rarely do those just because my coaching appointments are really, really jam-packed with a lot of information. So I don't like to overwhelm contestants, but every so often there comes a time when we, we have to get these appointments in if a pageant is approaching. So we're having a two hour appointment to start the day. Then I have all my one hours after after that and then going to get the external hard drive for this guy back yeah this is probably gonna be the next thing to die which I am prepared for let me tell you something I I work on my laptop constantly and I'll show you something this is the little keyboard protector okay and it just helps helps make it last a little bit longer this one has lasted pretty long, probably because I turn it off every night. I used to just leave my laptops running. That was a bad idea. But this guy is from 2014, and that's a pretty good life cycle for a um, MacBook Air that I take everywhere. It's been through a lot. But the reason I put everything on a driver in the cloud is because I have had a drive fail on one of these in the past, and that's not fun. And then you have to you lose all your data or try to get it back and that's also very expensive and now i keep everything off the laptop so when this does indeed die which is pretty soon it's been malfunctioning a little bit i'll just have to go to the store and pick up a new one and I, depending on where i'm at that day i mean at worst i could be a day or two without it but i mean nothing that we can't really work past so um yeah just waiting for that to fail and for that to be a really expensive nice little bill until then i am gonna go pick up the hard drive that cost me only 800 dollars this time to repair last time it was 1600 so that was fun the joys of youtube uh and then hopefully today i'm gonna have some time to finish sewing some of the things because that's it's like i enjoy that that's like how i de-stress i know that's kind of strange for some people but i enjoy it just I can watch a little bit of HDTV or Below Deck and just de-stress and not think, not try to problem solve. I have this super cute vintage, let me show you the neckline, baby doll dress. The neckline is beaded, there's geeks. It's super fun, I loved it. And I just threw it on right now over my sweater just to show you, this is the whole neckline. All right, so I took in the side of this dress, but as you can see, it's a little bit long and I want it to have that real cute baby doll effect. Usually when something is longer on me, I like to make it shorter if it's really loose fitted like this. Now this type of fabric, this is a really beautiful real silk chiffon and you can see right here, it has a really delicate hem. So when there's delicate fabrics like a silk chiffon, you usually use a serger to finish this edging really nicely and to prevent fraying. Now I don't have a serger, so there's a productivity hack I like to use and think about, and it's combining what you love to do with what you're great at doing. So 
Yes, I love to sew, but am I great at hand stitching a, a silk chiffon hem so that it does not fray? No, not so great at that. So I have to think, am I going to spend the money to go and get this altered? And for me today, the answer is yes, although I normally do my own alterations. This is a case where it would take somebody else who owns a serger minutes to chop the bottom of this dress versus it could take me hours to do a hand sewn rolled hem. And when I think about that, I'm like, mm, is that the best way to spend my time? No, because it's not something I'm gonna be great at and that's not gonna be something that I enjoy and love doing. So that's one of the things that I take into consideration for productivity. I kind of ask myself as well, what is my time worth? So it's like, what, what do you normally make in your job during your hourly? And is it actually less money to pay somebody else to do this in their time? And if the answer is yes, then I go ahead and get it done. So I'm going to go ride my bike to the dry cleaners and have them cut the bottom of this off. I just dropped off my dress to be altered. And it was a little pricey for a quick hem. It was $35, but... It still makes sense budget wise. I know there's places that I could go, but I would have to drive and they're farther. So it's fine. 35 will be fine for the hem of that dress. And then I picked up my fall stuff. So here's my new black wool blazer and coat. And then two of my sweaters. And then in the future, I like I do like to dry clean coats every so often, but obviously you can wear those quite a bit before they need to be dry cleaned again. And then these ones in the future, I'll end up just hand washing and laying them to dry. But when I do thrift really nice pieces like this, I like to start with dry cleaning them. I am trying a snack that I saw on Instagram Reels. So this girl, she just took some slices of cucumber. I only have a few minutes between my next, between now and my next appointment. So I needed to just do something real fast and hopefully healthy. I also love cucumber and I'm gonna use this extra cucumber for a cucumber salad later when I have time to make that. So I'm just gonna put that down. All she does is slice up the cucumbers, this. Then she gets some tuna, just got some tuna in the can. And I drained most of this but I'm just gonna get this, some tuna. And then she places it on the cucumbers. And then I'm gonna add some seasoning. This is everything but the bagel, pretty good. I'm gonna throw this on top of the cucumbers like that. And then you just, you top it off like that. And then it's supposed to be a little sandwich. Let's see how we like this first taste before proceeding. Wow, it's not bad. I feel like I want a sauce on it though. I have this sriracha spicy mayo and I feel like I put this on so much, but I'm gonna just do a little dollop of that. Let's try this one. Oh yeah, a bit better. Mm -hmm. Where are we headed today? The Hello Kitty X tea drop event for Hello Kitty's birthday. We're going to celebrate Hello Kitty. Hell yeah, we are. Heck yes, we are. Are we adults? <laughs> if you're a 90s baby, give it up for Hello Kitty. Comment Hello Kitty down below. Hello Kitty, you understand. And we're thrilled. We weren't originally invited to this event, but you know what? Someone <laughs> took the initiative to DM the event and said, listen, big fans. Big fans. <laughs> of tea and kitty that didn't sound right you couldn't get someone more excited than us <laughs> to attend such an event big fans of tea and hello kitty that's what we're what we're all about it's very on brand for us and they were like we would love to have you and we were like thank you we would love to be there i'm just a little hurt that i didn't get the initial invite that was a little bit off but it's okay we're on our way now did we dress up in vintage inspired dresses for no reason yes we did no reason well, nobody said Kitty was doing like a vintage party. Oh, no, 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 no. We, we took that upon ourselves. Didn't. We took that upon ourselves. <laughs> I feel like it was in the undertones of the invite. You just get that vibe. Yeah. 
She's 40 today. Mm-hmm. But she's looking not a day over four. Oh, you know she's getting that Botox. Mm hmm I have no words for you right now. I got pomegranates today. Look at that. And y'all yeah, like Tupperware, plastic baggies. Who brings a whole bowl into oh. a car with this? That's all I had. For a car snack. No, that's not true. And we have Tupperware, among other things, that are more apt for the car than a glass bowl. They and both get the job done. Oh my gosh, you're not. not one. What difference does it make? I'm gonna eat them all. Is all my tongue red? Girlfriend, I'm driving. There's only so much I can do at once. We are here. We are at Le Cafe. We got a tea passport and we got our little wristbands to get in. She's got a little English breakfast tea and an apple pie a la mode. Very Hello Kitty, if That's I do say I so. I want to try the apple pie a la mode. Brings together our childhood nostalgia and Hello Kitty's favorite pastimes, friendship, sweets, and tea time. That's us. That's us. <laughs> and then for each destination, apparently we're going to four. We have photo ops. Yes. And we get them stamped for everything we go to, but I'm so excited to figure out where we're going. Oh, transport yourself to carefree time with puffy stickers, scented erasers, and sweet memories. Oh, stickers. Oh, and this is where we try boba optional. Look at. Oh my gosh, I need the boba. That is what I'm excited for. Last stop in your tea journey. Take some home some special souvenirs, especially our bubble tea kit. Yes. Yes. I'm, I'm thrilled. Oh, and we yes. get fifteen percent off. I love. <gasps> You're and so my excited. Fave, my fave. They know the way to your heart. One this morning. Limited edition pins too. Look how and cute they, they are. Of course they do. We love Hello Kitty. We just came out and we got our little gift bags. They're the, they're like reminiscent of the Hello Kitty like early 2000s 90s grab bags. So cute. We're so excited. They're squishies. They're squishies. They're like keychain squishies. They're like I bet I bet they smell too. I? I bet. Am I a <gasps> celery? I don't I don't know. Am I in a, a bushel of asparagus? I what it, I'm, I'm maybe a carrot. I, I think, think I'm a carrot. carrot. What am I? I think. What am I? <laughs> I think I'm a bushel of asparagus. 
Yeah, I think you are an asparagus guy, perhaps. Wow. Oh, rose pour over Vietnamese coffee. So I don't drink coffee, so this is for you. Look at these. That's <gasps> oh my gosh, do I? I and I ah! have some. Look at the kitties on them. Oh on. my goodness. Look at This is so cute. And I they mean, know we I don't like them. dents in our hair. And I, yes, and I use these all the time, so that's perfect. So useful. Oh, little headbands. Okay, so I love these for when you're doing your makeup or you're around the house, pull the hair out of the face. These are so cute. Ooh, for like a mask. Yes, for when you do masks. Oh my exactly. gosh, look at Stop that. <gasps> this is what we were saying we needed today. Oh, oh. We would have had We would have built this outfits. So we would have built outfits around these. We just met one of the co-owners of Tea Drop. She was actually here at the event. She was so nice. She had some super cute Zara shorts on. <laughs> they were adorable. I noticed them before we met her. And guys, look at this. So this is the apple pie a la mode tea Delish. drop collab. I'll give it one of these. Yes, and this is the English breakfast. For those of you who don't know, this means compliments to the chef. Oh, well, wait. So this is double compliments to the chef. So we're giving it a double compliments yes, to the correct. chef. And we got an OPI nail polish. Look oh at my that. gosh, they know. They knew. They knew we needed our nails they done. They knew chapstick is the way to our hearts. We are so decked out in Hello Kitty. Wow, thank you so much, Hello Kitty and Tea Drops. Today I tried the strawberry matcha green tea and it was delish, so I couldn't not get one. Yes. Oh, it's so good. I can't wait to have it for work. Amazing. And since we came to this event, we got a discount, so we got 15% off, which was great. And then I'll move this because I'm using it as a prop, but I picked up the bubble tea, so. I didn't try this in there, but I'm a huge fan of bubble tea or boba, whatever you want to call it. And this is the Hello Kitty version. So I'm going to drink this and we're going to make it. Yes. Maybe in another episode. An adventure. Yes. <laughs> you got something on the skirt. <laughs> Look at the back of the skirt. Yeah. Is it tea? I don't know. You sat in something. Happy birthday, Kitty. <laughs> Um, it's like poop. I'm pretty sure it's burning. These shoes suck. <laughs> I hate them so much. I hate them so much. They look great. They look beautiful. I don't feel beautiful. That's for damn sure. We are at one of my favorite places in the whole wide world. 85C. Wow. Let's experience the magic that is carbs and bread. Okay, this is a smaller oh, one. Smells so good. This is a much smaller one. The one in, gosh, what is it? The city of the industry is way bigger. Wait, where's my Where's my It was unnecessary, so listen, guys. Step one, get your tray, get your pumps, make your selection, then check out. Let's go. Oh, that is new. Do I need it? Well, I need it, okay. nonetheless. They have a gelatino cream You have to have a brioche. Oh, and a marble taro. Oh, you're not gonna stop, are you? No. There's so many. I'm gonna get a milk tea. Though. I wish you could smell smell through video because they would understand that this smells like grease. Oh, I think it's premium milk that I get. I'm sorry. Wow. How many this, this is bad. I'm gonna put the milk tea. You were judging me, so I put one back. No, no, I was not judging you. I, was I felt saying. the harsh judgment. Well, that was on you. When I was in college and when I was preparing for pageants, I would take home a whole box of these guys after every dance lesson that I took, and I couldn't resist and I would eat the whole box on the way home. And I kept wondering, why was it that I was working out and never getting in shape? Then years later, down the road, when I stopped taking those dance lessons at that particular dance studio that was close to 85C, I was like, oh, carbs. The look of happiness. <laughs> Bread is my favorite food. I was gonna say meal of the day, but could be one and the same. Could be one and the same. Team number two for Cheyenne in 10 minutes. <laughs> what happened in the other one, Cheyenne? Drop it, I wanna talk about it. <laughs> and you just dropped this one, thank God. Well, they got it. Thank God it's sealed. What a mess. 